following on standardized storage procedures and proper labeling can contribute in managing HAM distribution within the nursing stations. The objectives of the session are to know the importance of storage and labeling of Lhasa drugs in nursing station, various strategies while storing and labeling such drugs, to follow special procedures for labeling vials and syringes. After completion of the session, one will be able to understand importance of storing and labeling Lhasa drugs before administration to the patient, use of specific and correct storing and labeling procedures, reporting unlabeled HRM drugs dispensed from the pharmacy. A typical case scenario is explained as such on improper labeling of drug. Storage needs to be clean, organized and one medication per pocket to eliminate selection error. One must also keep in mind look-alike and sound-alike medications when selecting a product. Storage containers should be clearly labeled with HAM icons, auxiliary labels and medication label. The HAM icon and auxiliary labels will promote vigilance. Various risk reduction strategies being Systemizing or regulating storage and labeling procedures to eliminate unclear labeling is necessary to reduce errors due to labeling of such drugs should be done solely by pharmacy, not making it as a concern for nursing department. Limiting storage areas for HAM because more number of HAM medications in stock may increase the chance of medication error. HAM labeled drugs should be handled with extra care and independent double check policy, common goal being improvement of patient safety and preventing harm from the use of HAM. Specially designed shelves and respective warning labels while storing a look-alike medication is identical. While for storing sound-alike drugs where tall man lettering is not used, brand names or trademark names is added to differentiate the medications. The generic name should be highlighted in larger font in such case as shown in the figure. Lhasa medication should be stored separately from their Lhasa pair to avoid confusion in a suitable distinguishable manner as shown in the figure. Another example of labeling and storage. ADCs are used in some sites CV. They have built-in technology. Alternate safety strategies must be utilized. System alerts on screen. HAM label applied to QB lid. No med name label for each QB is needed as names come up on screen. Note the auxiliary labels and HAM icons as shown in the figure. Medications which are short-acting or long-acting can also be mentioned in an auxiliary label. Special precaution warning levels for succinyl choline is highlighted in the figure shown. There were concerns related to labeling of the shelves or storage bins when identified through human factor evaluation. The concerns being small size of the font which may become unnoticeable while dispensing the drug. Handwritten labels which are not properly pasted in the storage container or which has illegible handwriting. Labels when placed on the curved area is difficult to read for the dispenser and can also remain unnoticed. Labels when not aligned or written in straight manner with their corresponding bins. Injectables, orals and topicals should be stored separately. Labeling thus can be done according to category using various colors for different containers. While labeling a syringe, date should be mentioned at the top, following time, initials of the person drawing the label, medication name, strength or concentration. The labeling mechanism being listing, creating, implementing, educating and thus evaluating. The list should be prepared utilizing the consulting pharmacist and approved by the council and governing body. Creating and implementing involves the concentration of medications in the storage containers should be maintained according to its requirement as increasing the concentration of the particular drug leads to error. Medications should be stored separately in their particular containers. Tall man lettering while differentiating the Lhasa pairs is required. 
Finally, stickers or labels should be used while differentiating the pairs. Educating and evaluating involves teaching and instructing the teammates thoroughly and thus evaluating if the process is functioning consistently throughout the center. This process should be made sure that it is being maintained properly and should be revised when necessary. Thus, the system which is well structured and systemic helps in eliminating the threat of medication errors. Medication use thus being a compound or complex process comprising of medication prescribing, order prescribing, dispensing, administration and effects monitoring. Storage and labeling is one of its key elements in the whole process. The drugs are thus required to be stored in a manner such that they are traceable as and when necessary. We acknowledge Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences for their continuous support. Thank you.